Welcome. We are reaching out to you from Daily Mirror Online to celebrate and acknowledge positive social change. On our road to this year's International Christmas Charity Bazaar, we are giving you an inside look into amazing efforts woven around it. And today, representing Sri Lanka's only organization specializing in interventions with those who have dementia, representing Lanka Alzheimer's Foundation, we have with us Mrs. Beverly Mirando. Hi Beverly, thank you so much for coming. Hi, and thank you for asking me to come. And um, just to tell you a little bit about the organization um, I'm with, it's Lanka Alzheimer's Foundation and our main mission is as we it's in our communication material which is to um, help make better the lives of people with Alzheimer's and dementia and also to help the people who support them the families and the carers. Uh, so based on this, uh, Lanka Alzheimer's Foundation was incorporated as a charity uh, in 2001. Uh, took us some time to build our activity centre and it was opened on the 21st of September 2011, which is World Alzheimer's Day. And it's an it's our office and what we call our information and service center or activity center. So it has a, quite a big auditorium, um, dining and um, sitting room and a lovely garden where our clients, as we call them, can enjoy and have a cup of tea. Now, of course, between before 2011, um, the founder continued doing the work and she used to have uh, at her residential her home care support group meetings uh, visiting families um, at home who had a mum or dad having Alzheimer's to instruct them to counsel them in fact she came to my home and uh, because my mum had uh, Alzheimer's then even going to the mental hospital and again giving support to families and carers. So that was the start and of Lanka Alzheimer's. Now, we don't get any funding from government or any international donors. So we need to collect funding and that's done mainly through our events for the year, which is we start the year in February with a Scrabble Bash Again, we've chosen it <coughs> because it does help with brain uh, improvement. And then we have in the month of September, <coughs> the run and the walk. Again, as I'm as month. And in November, we have our annual Christmas sale. So that is how we have uh, collected our funds and moved on. Now from ICCB, we've worked with them for about, I would say about six to seven years. And the funding that they have given us has helped towards our activity centre and the services we provide. So our activity centre is opened three days of the week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, from nine to three. We can accommodate 20 clients who are supported by about five to six volunteers. Uh, so they have a lovely day. They, they, they sing. We have a pianist who comes in. Uh, they play games, board games. And there's a lot of art, you know, which is therapeutic. And of course, then they are given a lunch, tea, morning tea, vegetarian lunch and evening tea which is all provided free of charge. At the moment now, because of this COVID pandemic, our activity center has been closed since March. But our volunteers have reached out to the families and supported the families. Some of them at the start, as you know, it was difficult getting food items, you know, so they helped their medicines, but more 
to keep in touch with them. And they shared a video which had a video clip, which had all these old songs, which they were very familiar with. Now they are very keen for the center to open, but there are lots of steps we have to take before we do so. So we are in the process of that. Uh, something else we are in the process of doing is uh, what do we do in September? Because that's when we hold our run and our walk. That cannot happen now because it's crowds. So we are looking at having our events, but as the word is the new normal. So let's see how we do it. It's very exciting and uh, I'll let you know. Definitely. Right. And all the very best with the process. And also, um, how can we expand this support? How can the viewers who are watching us at the moment, how can they contribute to these efforts? Financially or through volunteerism? Well, uh, financially, we are fine with anything that's given, right? So like that way, the ICCB donation is very appreciated. Uh, so we have, you can either buy cash or check, and the details are in our material. Uh, we do get s support from some corporate organizations, but mainly from, and also from um, family and friends, right? We have an annual appeal that goes out in September. In fact, we are getting ready for that, uh, asking people to donate whatever they can before the end of September, right? So that's ongoing. Then we have our events. So those are the areas that we do um, get our funding from, right? So it's very much um, something that's very passionate to all of us. And I must say, it gives us a lot of happiness when we see uh, clients who come and spend an enjoyable day, right? Truly, truly. and all the very best uh, with the endeavors and uh, the excitement that's in store for the end of the year and uh, in the month of September, all the work that's in store. Um, all the very best with that, Beverly. And we do encourage everyone to be in touch with the resources and the links provided so they can also participate in this effort. Thank you. <laughs>